Assassin's Creed fans, fire up your animus because it turns out that our memories are passed down in our genes. Anthony here for D News, joined again by Tara Long, who reviewed Assassin's Creed 4 on Rev3 Games and also hosts Hard Science with me and is also my buddy. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Thanks for having me back. Absolutely. So tell us, for those who are not familiar, what Assassin's Creed is about. Right. So the core idea behind Assassin's Creed is that you're reliving the memories of people in the past because their memories are actually stored inside of their DNA. Which is actually a pretty sci-fi idea because your memories are stored in the cells of your brain. And when you die, your brain dies and those memories die with you. But some new research from the Emory University School of Medicine says that certain memories can be passed on genetically from generation to generation. Right, and it's important to note that memories aren't stored in any one particular region of your brain. They're sort of distributed throughout the whole structure, which is good because then if one part of your head gets destroyed, mm -hmm. you don't just immediately forget everything. But your DNA is associated with physical attributes not memories. So how are these things passed on? It turns out that it is specific types of information that can be inherited. Phobias. Yes. So this team trained mice to basically fear the smell of cherry blossoms using electric shocks. So the they would sadistic I thing know, I it's horrifically cruel. You, they smell the flower, <laughs> then they get an electric shock, and then after that whole experiment, they let the mice breed, and it turns out their offspring were actually also afraid of the scent from birth without having been exposed to the smell of cherry blossoms or electric shocks or bad experience. They just fear the smell of them. And it all comes down to epigenetics, which we talked about before. Some of your genes can change how they express themselves based on your life. Long-term stress, for example, can flip switches in your genes that can make you mentally ill or physically ill. You can check out the video we did about it for more details. Yeah, what's interesting here is that the DNA responsible for sensitivity to the smell of cherry blossoms was actually more active in the sperm of the mice that were shocked. Um, those mice had a stress response to cherry blossoms, which then changed the expression of their DNA, and then they passed that changed DNA onto their children. So what did that do? Well, our brains change and restructure all the time based on what happens to us, and the shocked mice showed changes to the areas of their brain that detect odors, and their children were born with those changes already in place. Right, so a lot of our instinctive behavior, how we react to danger and stress and stuff like that, could actually be genetic. We're all sort of born with a natural aversion to things that are harmful or dangerous to our parents, and that sort of comes back around to us and gives us a little bit of a survival advantage. Yeah, but not always though, right? Because we've got a bunch of dumb fears. Like, how does being born with my dad's fear of clowns make me better suited for survival? Because clowns are terrifying, obviously. Um, but you're right, this also means that we could be passing down things like PTSD and anxiety and fears that are just generally irrational and not actually useful to us. Why can't I inherit the ability to play guitar? So does this mean that we can recreate or relive memories through DNA? And where do wrist blades come into all of this? They don't. Oh. Um, but it does mean that at least some kinds of memories are physically passed down from our ancestors. And hey, there could be lots of interesting things about the Carboni family that maybe you are reliving now and just don't know it. Wow. Yeah, I don't think so. It's probably for the best that there aren't animus quality apparatuses, yes, because I don't feel like there are a lot of pirate assassins in my ancestry. No. I think it, I'd just jack in and it would be generation after generation of nerd bombers and cowards. Yeah, well, there you go. Not much has changed. So there you have it. Yay, yay science! science. Uh, by the way, speaking of yay science, we host a science show together. We do. It's called Hard Science. It's all crazy experiments. It's a lot of fun. You should go check that out. And of course, Tara is constantly reviewing games like Assassin's Creed 4 over on Rev3 Games. So check that channel yeah. out as well. Thanks for coming by, Thanks Tara. Thanks for having me again. Yeah. I'm like a regular now. Well, Just don't get too familiar.